Well, there is no doubt that this is one of the most iconic vehicles on the road. Yes, Americans love the Jeep Wrangler, evidenced by its record sales in 2015. But when a vehicle gets to the end of its life cycle like the Wrangler is, sales usually start to slump. So what is this vehicle's recipe for success? That's what we're out here in the bush to try to figure out. So the first and most obvious thing that makes this Wrangler special is, well, just look at it. There's nothing else on the road that looks this bad ass. It gets these big flared wheel fenders, some cool little touches like these hood latches, those hooks in the bumper for getting unstuck off-road. And in this Willys trim, it gets a few special decals, this green paint job, and that blacked out grill, which I absolutely love. Now, when you have as much heritage as Jeep does, and you're so entwined in American culture, you might as well take advantage of it. And Jeep is an absolute master at retro style. And this isn't just a regular Wrangler. Jeep has pumped up the nostalgia factor with this Willys Wheeler package. Now it comes with some black decals on the hood and out back, as well as that army green paint job. It also gets blacked out 17 inch wheels with standard BF Goodrich mud terrain tires and a Jeep trail rated kit, which includes a big toe strap, D-rings, heavy duty gloves, and a Jeep branded bag. So once you get behind the wheel of the Wrangler, it's not immediately apparent why people love it so much. I mean, frankly, it just doesn't drive that well on the road. It's sort of all over the place and the steering's really loose. It's got a big dead zone in the middle. And if you're trying to drive on a windy day, you're working so hard just to make sure that the Wrangler goes in a straight line. Now, of course, aerodynamics are not in this vehicle's favor either. It's just a big brick pushing through the wind, so it just gets tossed around all over the place. So when it comes to the powertrain, Jeep has things well sorted. We have a 3.6 liter V6 that makes 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque, which on the surface I think actually seems a little bit low, but in practice it's more than enough power. You're never really wanting for more power. The Wrangler is plenty fast, and most importantly, it has some good low-end torque, so when you're out there off-road, it's easy to pull yourself up and over obstacles. So it's definitely not driving on pavement that makes this Wrangler so popular, but I can tell you one thing Jeep has done really well that makes this vehicle lovable, and that's the interior. For a vehicle like this, that's gonna spend probably a lot of its life in muddy, wet, dirty situations, this is a great interior. It's a lot of plastic, but that's fine because it's easy to clean, and it's also just simple and well laid out. Plus with this Willys Wheeler Edition, you get these big, thick rubber floor mats which will do a good job at handling mud on your boots. What really makes this interior cool though is style. You get this great tactile feeling shifter to put it down into four wheel drive. You get these cool little Jeep decals on the windshield. You get the Jeep grab handle with the little Sense 1941 on it. It just makes you feel like you're kind of part of a club, like you're kind of part of something special. And that style really ties into what makes this Jeep so special. It's just fun. Everything about this vehicle is just fun, but when it gets most fun is when the pavement ends. So let's head off road and see what this Wrangler can really do. Out here in the bush is when this Wrangler really starts to make sense. Now right now, I've come up to a little bit of a puddle. I can't quite tell how deep it is, but the beauty of this Wrangler, it gives you all the confidence in the world and it just makes you want to go for it. And it just eats it up. It absolutely eats it up. It doesn't matter what we've crashed through today, this thing just takes the abuse and it asks for more. And it's so much fun to crash around out here in the forest.
And one of the funny things is that a lot of those traits that make it kind of bad to drive on-road make it good off-road. The steering is nice and loose, but that actually means that you're not fighting with the wheel. The wheel's not getting jerked out of your hands. You actually feel really in control when you're crashing over rocks or hills or whatever. And the Jeep's high stance and high seating position, which again, don't feel that great going through corners on the pavement, feel absolutely awesome out here in the bush. Jeep actually put this Willys package together exactly for this heading off road because it starts life as a base sport model, but it gets some of those Rubicon specific off road upgrades like the Dana 44 heavy duty rear axle, the Duralock limited slip rear end, and rock rails underneath to help protect some of your vitals. The other thing that makes the Wrangler special is it just doesn't really have any competition. This Wrangler offers over 42 degrees of approach angle, over 10 inches of ground clearance. There's nothing else out there that's set up so purposefully for off-roading. Maybe a Ford Raptor, but that's a whole different ball of wax compared to this thing. And the beauty of it is, you don't need to get the Willys Edition to get that great clearance. You get any Wrangler and you're already getting a pretty capable off-road machine. You know what, after really pushing this Jeep out here on the trails, I think I get it now. This is the kind of vehicle, it just has that go anywhere, do anything attitude. And when you're out here in the forest all alone, nothing but wilderness around you, you have to trust your vehicle. And that relationship between me and this Jeep right now, it just gives you that really good feeling. It just makes you love your vehicle. It just gives you a deeper bond. And I think that's what this whole Jeep thing is really all about. So sure, you can, and a lot of people do, buy a Wrangler and take it grocery shopping or take the kids to soccer practice. But it's out here where this vehicle really starts to make sense and it is out here where I fell in love with this Wrangler. It just has such a fun-loving attitude. It has totally unique style. It's unapologetic for its bad on-road driving dynamics. And best of all, it conquers everything off-road. It's that combination of traits that makes the Jeep Wrangler such an icon.